Hello everyone, it's Gary back once again for the Nintendo Dads to talk about some early hands-on impressions of some games that are making their way to the Nintendo Switch. So one of the games that I gladly got my hands on this weekend was Shaq Fu A Legend Reborn. Now for you guys who might not be familiar with Shaq Fu, it was a 1994 game originally released on the Super Nintendo and Mega Drive or Genesis if you live that side of the pond from me. And with a little research, Shaq Fu was received to mixed criticism, but that criticism has changed over the years and it's actually quite negative now, even though I don't really think it's that bad myself. So why on earth would you make a sequel to a game that's critically panned now in 2018? Well, I think I know why. This game is actually a stroke of pure genius because it took everything that the old game had and threw it out the window and sort of Shaq started again and made a game that's worthy of the great man Shaq himself. So from the second that you get into the demo you're treated to some gorgeous 2D cutscenes with hilarious dialogue and the great thing is about that hilarious dialogue is it carries on right through the actual gameplay itself. The writing in this game is actually pure genius and actually had me laughing out loud on a number of occasions. And it's not even afraid to poke fun at itself, including breaking down the fourth wall and making fun of its crowdfunding start on Indiegogo itself. It seems that nothing at all is safe from humour in this game, and I'm glad, because if it was serious a bit more like the original game, then I'd probably feel a little bit different about it, but the fact that it's so funny actually ties in with the gameplay perfectly, so let's talk a little bit about the gameplay while we're at it. Well, it pays homage to those sort of side-scrolling beat-em-ups in the 80s and 90s, so stuff like Double Dragon and Streets of Rage for example. So as you are progressing through the demo, you run into a load of enemies which obviously, as Shaq, you have to beat up. So Shaq beats up the enemies with his normal punch attack which he combines together and then all of a sudden unleashes a giant foot that comes from nowhere. After all this man has got humongous feet. He's also got a few special moves, including one where he can punch the ground and sort of throw all the enemies out of the area because he's just that much of a man. There's also a neat little dodging mechanic in this which is done by tapping the right stick either up or down and Shaq will roll out the way of the enemy attacks. And like most of these side scrolling ballers you can also pick up random items from the levels or weapons that enemies drop for example. Honestly, I really enjoy my time with Shaq Fu. It's, uh, it's kind of a rarity now that you see these uh, sort of really well scripted, hilarious games. And uh, yeah, just I can't wait to see what other jokes and humour it's got along the way. So definitely keep an eye out for this one. Next up, we got Grip, a game that I personally have had my eyes on since seeing the reveal trailer. So if you're anything like me and you like a good racing game, especially one with blinding speeds and weapons, then Grip might be right up your street. If I was to say that Grip isn't Fast and Furious, then I would definitely be lying, as this game sort of has some amazing mechanics that you don't see very often. So you have the ability to flip your car upside down like my beloved RC car that I had in the 90s when I was just a young lad, and carry on going forwards after that. And I managed to get my hands on a few levels and they are really cleverly designed and utilise the mechanics of the cars extremely well. So all included all over the map are little shortcuts or tunnels that you can take and then these random power ups split across a level that you can pick up such as missiles and shields. Now while I was at EGX Res which is where I got my hands on with Grip it actually proved incredibly popular so I managed to have a look at how other people were playing it as well and it seems to be a game that people get the hang of incredibly easily and there's a lot of customizations. there's all different cars and different paint jobs, a whole bunch of stuff which I didn't get too much in depth with uh, because I just wanted to play it so badly. And so I was like, incredibly happy with my hands-on time with Grip, and it's one now that I'm actually really looking forward to. It's definitely up there on the top of my wish list. And there you have it, another two fantastic games heading their way to the Switch. And if you want to hear more about games that are upcoming on the Switch, I'll be doing more of these videos through the next coming days. And also, stay right here on the Nintendo Dads and listen to the podcast for everything else from EGX Res.